Actually, it was a really wonderful project. And for our partnership between Middle Resources Institute and the Central Bimuru, we achieved many things. Actually, uh, our objectives uh, was to uh, build the capacity uh, for our teachers and the staff in general so that they can be able to deliver uh, competence-based training education and also to develop program of land and mine survey programs and short course related to extractive industries and uh, also to improve uh, cross-cutting issues such as uh, gender equality uh, environmental sustainability, uh, career development, uh, yeah, and uh, uh, entrepreneurships, yeah. yeah. So in our projects, what I can say, uh, we managed the actual to uh, achieve all of our objectives. And uh, as you know that, uh, uh, what I can say, the first uh, objective that I can say we achieved is the development of land and mine survey programs. Program. <clears throat> it was our plan since uh, 2012 uh, that the Mineral Resources Institute planned to develop that program. Uh, but because of financial constraints, we couldn't be able to develop these programs. So when this project came, it was an opportunity to us to develop this program. So we uh, collaborate with Sergio Primolu to develop uh, land and mine survey program. Uh, for NT level 4, 5, and uh, 6. And the program was uh, approved and accredited by the National Council for Technical Education, NAT. And now we have uh, students, we have level 4 students and the level 5 students. Uh, level 5 students, we have 23 students and level four uh, students, uh, 80, 84 students. Yeah, another achievement is purchasing of equipment. Because without equipment, we cannot train, or we cannot actually uh, give training in these programs. So this uh, project, I step, we managed to uh, to purchase equipment uh, for more than 40,000 Canadian uh, dollars. And we use this equipment for training and sometimes we use this equipment for consultations. Yeah, because uh, we have this uh, opportunity that, uh, you know, uh, most of the Tanzanian towns and cities are not uh, surveyed, about 70% are not surveyed. So this is an opportunity for us. And so for having this uh, advanced equipment, we, our tutors, particularly severe tutors, they normally make sometimes consultations to survey some of the towns uh, for town planning. <clears throat> yeah, another achievement uh, in this project is we managed actually to create a, a, a PST, Program Advisory Committee. And the committee up to this time uh, has met three times. And the, actually, uh, this uh, create a good relationship with the industries and now we have received the uh, 
uh, applications from industries. Some employers want their workers to come here to study uh, about uh, landed my survey programs, short course programs. And uh, you know that uh, this program of land and my survey pro of land and my survey is new. I can say it's new in mines. We have such kind of programs, uh, but they normally uh, teach about only land surveying. But our program is based on land and mine surveying. So you can find that in mines there is no technicians in this particular field. And uh, what they do in the industry, they normally take uh, people who completed this a standard, who completed in Form 6, early ones, or high school, and then train them in formal, and they actually employ them as technicians, but they don't have qualifications, they don't have certificates. Recognition, recognize the certificate. So having this uh, PAC, they actually explain to us that they have such people in their industry and they want them to be recognized. And uh, through this project, we have started to prepare uh, qualification by experience, evaluation or assessment tools. And then we have already sent to the the industries so that they can start to conduct self-assessments before uh, recognize them or before preparing a special program that will cover what they miss. Yeah. Uh, another achievement is capacity building for our teachers. Uh, we have uh, more than 55 tutors and uh, staff in general that uh, participated in different uh, uh, trainings through ISTEP project. And then uh, we have technical training, uh, most of survey tutors attended here in Tanzania and also in Canada. And also we have non-technical training like uh, pedagogical training, uh, CBT and the teaching methodology. Actually, uh, tutors uh, got a lot of uh, experience on how to deliver competence based, but also this training enabled them to be registered as a technical uh, teacher, as this is uh, one of the requirements from NAT uh, that teachers should be uh, attending uh, pedagogical training. As you know, that most of our tutors are coming from universities, they don't have knowledge of this uh, teaching methodology. And when they come here, they know they do not they don't know how to deliver confidence best because in the university they use knowledge best. So uh, this uh, training was very useful to our tutors uh, for all programs because we are talking about we have uh, six programs here in uh, uh, our institute. Yeah, so also we, myself, I attended the uh, training, other training like uh, GIS for other programs like geology, environmental engineering. Uh, some of the tutors attended this course, which actually was very useful because they used uh, this uh, GIS software to create geological map to, uh, and uh, a lot of things.